here with Jay Hernandez and Derek Hub. Give it up. At the beginning of this season, we started asking local news reporters to share their favorite stories of people making a difference in their hometowns. It's all part of our search for the Good Neighbor of the Year. Jesse, give it up for Jesse singing, everybody. In the next few months, y'all, we're gonna ask you, our viewers, to choose your favorite. Today we are heading to Orlando, and we have West 2 News anchor Nancy Alvarez joining us to talk about an amazing organization, along with the founder of that organization, Sean. So y'all give it up for him, come on. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Meet Derek, meet Jay. Hello, hello. Hello, so we go way you. back. We go way back already. <laughs> well, tell us, Nancy, tell us about Sean's organization, because I'm sure you cover so many mm -hmm. things, right? Like, in yeah. your career, and it's, why did this stick out? Why did yeah. Sean stick out? Well, you know, I've, I've been a journalist in Orlando 20 years, right? And think about what you know about Orlando, Florida. It's this place where people come from all over the world to go on vacation, and you enjoy our theme parks and our beautiful hotels, and then you go home, right? Yeah. But we are a home. We have a vibrant, thriving, growing, beautiful, diverse community. Yeah. And Sean is just the perfect example of everything we are. He started Clean the World by taking soaps from our hotels. You know those little soaps yeah. that you use maybe once or twice and then you just leave them there? And he recycles the soap uh, through a process that you know he'll explain because he's the brains here in the operation. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so he started giving these soaps to our homeless population. Mm -hmm. And it just grew from there. Oh. And it turned into not just soaps, but mobile showers so people can use them, hygiene kits. And you look at it on the surface, right? And you go, okay, yeah, it's nice. They're offering soaps and showers, but Really what he's doing is empowering the community. Mm -hmm. He is telling these people, yeah. He's telling these people, you know, we see you, we're here to help you. And as we know, sometimes that's all it takes for someone to feel motivated to get up and turn their life around. And yeah. that's, that's what Sean To be does. seen. Yeah. yeah. How did this all get started? Where'd the idea come from? Well, in 2009, I was a frequent traveler in a hotel room four nights a week. Yeah. And I called the front desk one day and asked what happened to the bar soap and bottle shampoo when I was done using it. They said it was thrown away. Mm -hmm. I did some math and figured out that if all hotels were throwing their soap away, we were throwing away a million bars of soap every day out of hotels across the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, I did some yeah. research on how to recycle soap and, uh, and then I really came across the aha moment for Clean the World. So in 2009, there were 9,000 children under the age of five dying to hygiene-related illnesses, number one and number two killers of children worldwide. And all these studies that I found showed that if we just gave them soap and taught them how and when to wash their hands, we could cut those deaths in half. Wow. Uh, so myself and my family members, we got into a single car garage in downtown Orlando. We sat around on upside down pickle buckets. We had potato peelers. <laughs> we collected soap from hotels. We scraped the outside of those bars of soap. We had a meat grinder. We grind it. We were cooking it with cookers with this grand idea that we were gonna create this global impact company to uh, turn trash into treasure and take waste and instead save lives with it around the world. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Like, yeah. to have that idea, and to be so selfless and actually implement it. And now it's like, it's this huge global like empire now. And it's so, you think, people always think like, oh, well that won't make an impact if I just say this thing. And it's like, you don't realize the impact of even like the smallest of ripples, right? And it's, it's incredibly wasteful. I mean, we travel for a living, like, right? So all the time, every time I'm there, like how I've much waste. I've literally thought about that a number of times because I'm, I'm conscious of what we do and how much we waste, just as, yeah. not as, as somebody in the business, but just, a person in the world, and it's 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 wild because I've, I'm like they throw so much stuff away, and for you to do that, that's amazing. Like Thank props, you. man. That's yeah. really really no, cool, brother. Beautiful. Well, and it's one of those things. It's like you don't want to. I'm not like even blaming them. Like hotel, they have to, like because of protocol and because sure. of right. whatever you have to. But it's such a smart way to find a way, like. Even there's extra food there. There's all this extra yeah. stuff that's wasted there, you know, where they have to throw things away if they're not perfect, you know? And it's like, people don't need perfect outside these walls, you know? They just need something, you know? Um, well, Clean the World has become a huge global effort, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes, so we started back in 2010 after the devastating earthquake in Haiti, and that was where we really did our first major distribution. Yeah. And since then, a, a ton of hotels have become involved. So we have 9,000 hotels that operate our program. We have recycling operational centers all over the world. We've diverted 22 million pounds of waste from going into landfill uh, and instead have, uh, have helped those all over the world. We have programs running right now in Dominican Republic, in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Nairobi, in the Philippines, in Amazing. India. 
Uh, and we're literally taking school children from kindergarten to fourth grade and we're teaching them how and when to wash their hands and then giving them soap to take back home mm -hmm. while we help create soap industry in the community so there's mm -hmm. this long-term sustainable effort and we're literally saving millions of children's lives around the world through these efforts. Um, well, a huge component to all the success is your volunteers, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so How we have- How many volunteers, y'all? Well, so annually we get about 10,000 volunteers oh uh, into our facility and- uh, it, There's a few. It, it's awesome, yeah, and it's so good. We have corporations, we have schools, we have universities, uh, sports teams, uh, just all, you know, the entire gamut. And uh, we also have like, we have a great program with Bishop Grady, which is a school that takes uh, young adults who have special needs, mostly Down syndrome, mm -hmm. and we help them help and serve and love others. So they are building hygiene kits and they are packing boxes with soap and shampoo and toothbrush and toothpaste. And so, you know, being fulfilled, having a life of fulfillment and learning a skill. So it's just for, across the gambit, we're doing all kinds of great things. Clean the World is based in Orlando and has become a huge global force for recycling soap and providing hygiene resources for people in need locally and worldwide. And right now, Nancy's colleague, West 2 News anchor Stuart Moore is hanging out at Clean the World's headquarters, so let's check in with him. What's up, Stuart? Nice to see you. Explain what's happening there. It's great to see you too, Kelly, and I'm so excited to be able to introduce you to Clean the World. This 30,000 square foot facility takes in about 10,000 pounds per day and turns into 38,000 bars of soap. I want to introduce you to Christina. She's the marketing director here. Christina, tell us a little bit about this process. I know we heard from it in the studio, but show us what we're actually seeing. Absolutely. So first the soap comes into the Orlando facility. It's weighed and it's measured to make sure we understand how much impact each hotel is making. Then the volunteers sort the soap and they're removing any kind of trash, any kind of plastic that might be in this box because we're going to get it ready to get put into the next machine. It's astounding on how much soap that you guys can process in just one single day. Once it's put in this box, what's the next step for it? So the next step for it is it's going to go to a plotter where it goes through this giant funnel and it comes out through these micro screens. It's going to catch anything else that's not soap. And then it's going to turn kind of into the spaghetti looking texture and it's going to then go into our mixer. Our mixer is where it's combined with a sterilization solution and making sure that it's going to be a perfect bar of recycled soap. Then it's pushed through an extruder where it turns into a giant long bar and it's stamped with Clean the World's logo and then cut into individual bars where we're now going to put on our table for our volunteers to help sort. And once the volunteers get it, that's when the next step happens. Yes. Let's meet one of these volunteers. Alex, tell me a little bit about yourself. I am a volunteer to add to Clean the World. We help people clean the world today. Awesome, thank you so yeah, much, Alex. It. And the one great thing is, on the walls here it says, Kelly, a soap saves lives, and it truly does. I want to introduce you to another volunteer who's also doing some hard work here. You Daniel, here. you're a high school student. Tell me why you wanted to get involved with Clean the World. Oh yeah, so I really love uh, Clean the World's mission, you know, just being able to come here every Saturday since August now. You know, the thing that really grasps me is just like the kind of nicheness of it all, because it's not something you really think about. You know, you just go to a hotel, use the soap, throw it away, and you know, it's just gone. You don't know what happens after that. And so, you know, just being able to take that and uh, give it to people, to other people, change their lives, you know, that's really awesome. It really keeps me coming back. All right, because of your spirit and because of the way you are trying to also save lives, we have a little surprise from you. Christina's going to present you with something. Christina? Awesome. So we are so happy, Daniel, that you're here to volunteer with us. We appreciate our volunteers so much. I actually started as a volunteer 10 years ago, and I can tell you that with our whole heart, we just love the fact that you come in, you have such a great attitude, and so we wanted to present you with Volunteer of the Year for 2023. This is a big shock to you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Well, you do all the hard work, so I'm glad you're being able to recognize. And Kelly, this place is a truly awesome facility. Everyone that's been here leaves with a big smile on their face. Back to you guys. Absolutely. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you for seeing you all. It's so impressive. And it's, it's interesting. Just a reminder to everybody, you were sitting in a hotel room. You traveled a lot. You saw a need. You saw waste. You... You made something happen, and like, look at this impressive operation. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. by the way, you know, I, you know what I love about this so much too is just from the mental health aspect mm. for these volunteers. Yes. I think one of the fastest ways to, to get out of ourselves is to serve. That's right. Like the the, 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 the secret to live. The secret to living is giving, and you're giving so much to them as well as to the people that you're serving with the soap. So thank you, Gwen. Yeah, that's a great yeah, point. With mental health. That's yeah. an awesome point.
Well, we are all so blown away by the local and global impact of Clean the World on so many levels, and our sponsor, NetSpend, agrees. NetSpend's all-access mobile account helps people manage their money and empowers people to achieve their financial dreams by offering access to innovative financial services. They love your passion for helping people and the planet, so to help you continue your work, NetSpend is giving Clean the World $25,000. Hey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he backed it up. He backed it up. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but you must be using some great soap. You smell good.